So 2020 has been a long year, and I don't think I need to tell you that. And what better way then to end it than with a lacquer local travel experience? Three of our reporters are taking a three-day epic short left, experiencing the best of what South African tourism has to offer. Nobile Majlala has been traveling through the Eastern Free State, while Dasan Dathia is experiencing the best of the South Coast. Now, currently at Mtata Rivermouth, and Nobile, I believe you are in Gomani in the Eastern Cape. Let's start uh, with Dasan. I'll get to you because I'm still a bit upset because I saw your background in the morning, uh, earlier on in the day, and you had the hole in the wall in the backdrop so I'm, I'm not you know I'm not dying to see you brag about what a beautiful part of the country you are in Mobile you are in Komani um, what's it looking like there it's a busy part of the country uh, around this time of the year but of course people have the safety considerations Well, definitely, till as we are now in Goman, and it's quite an interesting place, uh, like you are saying, very busy. It was actually very difficult to go through the town, a lot of traffic there, but clearly because a lot of tourists are coming in and out, which is why then we are here at the Sassel Garage to also try and find out what are they doing differently, because when you're traveling to us, it becomes very important to be in a space where it's, it's, it's welcoming, where it's friendly. But joining me now is Vuyo Dada, who's going to explain to us how are they doing what are they doing under COVID regulations to make sure that their customers are at higher risk. Good day everybody. Uh, in Queenstown we're making sure especially here in Sassol we make sure every time we uh, get people in, in the shop they come in with their mask and we make sure that they sanitize, sanitize, social distance every time because we want to make sure that we're trying to at least make sure that we don't get COVID. So this used to be a hot spot for COVID, Mama. How, what, what sort of things are you doing to make sure that the people that work under you are at also at hiring? Wearing masks every time at work, sanitizing the hands and social distance. That's what we're practicing every day, washing hands and yes. We're making sure that we're doing that every time. All right. And what sort of things do you have for the festive season? Are you seeing more tourists coming in? Yes, yes. And we are excited to see more of them because economically for business, we have to see them and we make sure that we, as we, 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 we get them and we make sure that we, 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 we get them inside the shop and make sure that they are sanitizing their hands. And for our business, yes, we have to soldier up under all the circumstances of the virus, but we make sure that we are here for the tourists and we help them as they come in. And obviously there's currently a water situation here in Eastern Cape. Are you experiencing any shortages and how are you working around that? Okay, yes, in Queenstown we do have some uh, challenges of water, but we make sure that we do have water. We put water in, we keep water in the tanks so that every time we need water, there is water. Thank you very much. We are the manager here and just explaining to us how they deal with that. But on my left now, tell us I've got a treat for you. These two gentlemen are going to give us a test of how it feels like to be a customer here. So gentlemen, you have the stage. Aren't you going to say anything? Well, you said you wanted to dance, so go right ahead. Let's see you dance. Come on, you've got to join in there. Come on. You can't let people dance like that and you don't even take part. 
I mean, that's the service, right, at the Komani, uh, at that uh, service station where you are in Komani. We'll let you off the hook for now, Ngobile. Work on those dance moves. Those gentlemen, they have surely challenged you. All right, Desen Tatia, go ahead. Show off how you are more equal than others when it comes to uh, how you are treated here at ENCA. You get rewarded with a trip to the beautiful South Coast. Tell me where you are. What's happening? Well, you know, I, I really am not one to brag to us, but oh, I did wake are. up at the Coffee Bay <laughs> Beach Lodge Hotel today. And, uh, you know, that there was that fabulous view that I, I shared with Tomato this morning. I also had the opportunity to go to the hole in the, in, in the wall. But, you know, I've also got a bone to pick with you and my Joburg colleagues because there's this perception that I'm not working. Now, let me show you what I did just to have a chat with you. Look at how high up we are. Uh, up this hill, we, we hiked up here, and I did this just so I can chat to you, just so that I could get some signal to have this conversation, because uh, that's how... So to us, let it never be said that I did it. Yeah, so there's a bit of a challenge there, Dustin. Let's see if you can hike a bit higher as you and I try and restore the connectivity. Uh, I think now, if you just move slightly higher up the hill, uh, my team telling me that we actually have your back. It's good for you to actually take this hike, Desen, uh, and I don't imagine that you, you felt any pain coming up that hill uh, with that splendid view in the backdrop. Exactly. It's, it's absolute beauty. And, you know, I'm really trying to keep fit. I mean, again, not to brag, but I was kayaking yesterday as well. So let me bring um, Zokala into the conversation now. And he runs a Coffee Bay Adventures. Mm. Um, so normally around this time, you would have your hands full. But I see that uh, although people are coming in, it's not your usual uh, business. Are, are people uh, misunderstanding that the Eastern Cape and Coffee Bay is open for tourism? Yeah, okay. Yeah, first of all, I would like to greet everyone. My name is Mzo uh, from a company called Coffee Bay Adventures. Yeah, the company was started in 2015, but officially registered in 2016. So I and my cousin started this company. So, so far now we've got about six employees that are paid on commission. Yeah, so... How's it affecting them during this time, especially with these COVID-19 yeah, restrictions? Yeah, ever since the start of the lockdown, it has been very bad for, for our business. And, but we were hoping for things to change for December, because December is always our high season, is where we, we recover the most. Yeah, but uh, we were hoping yeah, that we were going to recover uh, during this festive season. We were expecting a lot of people to come from cities to, to, the, to our rural areas in the World Coast. But then we were, you know, our doors were shut by the president when he announced that the, the whole Eastern Cape beaches will be closed. So but, they but there were, are other activities that you offer apart yeah. from uh, those that uh, take place on the beach. Yeah, there are, there are also other activities that we do offer, but they all rely on people that are coming to Coffee Bay in the accommodations in Coffee Bay. So after uh, this uh, announcement, uh, all the booking almost... Most of the bookings were cancelled because of this uh, uh, because of this restriction uh, for for pandemic for this pandemic. So yeah, it was yeah we. So we, what can they do? I mean, those that are here, because I have seen a few people, especially where we stayed at the Ocean View Hotel as well. Yeah. Uh, those that are here, what's on offer? Yeah, for those that are here, uh, thanks to to the president, that uh, the the rivers and dams are still open, so we're still operating still. Yeah, so with uh, following the protocols of the pandemic, so uh, we normally put two people in, in each kayak because of this uh, pandemic. Now we only put one person uh, uh, in the kayak. And also we've got the fire game drive that we take people around, also drive them to, to this river. So we normally put nine people at the back there, so it's three, three per row. Mm. So now we only two, put two social distancing. So they're not only kayaking, so we also do the hikes around Coffee Bay, and we do the cliff jumping, yeah. and we do village tours, we do sand 
partners. Right, this so, and the yeah. line does seem to be letting us down there, but we got the gist of the conversation that you are having there with Mzo uh, from Coffee Bay uh, Adventures and telling us about what they're doing to try and make do, right, under these circumstances to ensure that uh, tourism doesn't die altogether in that uh, pristine part of our country, uh, the South Coast area, Coffee Bay area, and you were seeing that the views there behind Des and Dathia there um, as that conversation was taking place. Well, we've got to take the good